Hi, this is Brandon Smith from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Sandbag Zercher Squat. This is a great squat variation. You can put your programs um, to be able to mix things up. And I really find this works great for youth athletes and being able to help load them a little bit differently, um, especially if you're limited by the amount of barbell work that you can do based upon their age. Um, but it's also great for your average personal training client as well. As a Zercher position begins to let us acts of some new ranges of motion if somebody happens to be really bound up and they're a poor mover. I really found this Zercher position works well and the sandbag in the Zercher position especially is just way more comfortable than holding a barbell in there. Now obviously if you're, you know, you're a big strong strength athlete you're probably just going to Zercher squat with a regular barbell but I think you can begin to use this as a way to warm up um, or just overall improve movement quality as well if it happens to be you. So. You need some kind of sandbag, obviously. Um, we just got some loadable sandbags here um, to where we can mix up the, the weights of them. But we're going to get in the zercher position. So I guess really quickly, the zercher position is where the weight is basically around the belly button area. Okay, where goblet position would almost be up here. Um, you know, if you got a goblet squat with a dumbbell or kettlebells, um, anything you're holding here is basically your goblet position. Your zercher is going to come down here. And basically what I like to think of it, just think about where the upper arm position is. You know, if we're at 90 degrees or so, you know, that's pretty high. And then we start getting on a 60-ish area, that's still kind of the goblet. And then down here in the zercher, we're definitely, you know, way lower, like 20, 30 degree um, angle, somewhere around down in there. So we're going to put this in the zercher position down in the crooks of our hands like this. So just think about holding the bicep curl if you want to. You can definitely lock your hands together as well, um, however you would like to do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our squat position, feet a little wider than the shoulder width, make sure I feel my whole foot, chest is good and tall. I can already begin to feel my upper back really, really working doing this. Okay, so I, I already know that there's some positive training going on right now of just holding this, but I'm kind of like shifting my body weight almost back by having the weight forward, right? So I keep my chest tall, I'm going to spread the floor, push my knees out, hips are going to go back and down to my butt goes in between my ankles, here, and then back up. And then from the front for you, real quick. So pretty simple, got your squat patterns mastered. Basically hold the weight down here in the zercher position and you're good to go. Um, again, I like this a lot with youth athletes because it lets us find some different ways to load their squat pattern um, and keep things safe, keep things in front of their body, um, give them a little bit of abdominal work. You know, we can obviously do some squats and some carries, um, lunges, things like that, but um, this is a nice way to also prevent them from using too much weight because if you have it on the ground and you could argue, you know, if you can't pick it up, you can't squat it, um, you know, you're going to really work on your kid's movement quality there as well and also work on limiting their loads in terms of how they're going to pick it up. So um, we've had a lot of success with the sandbag surger squat. I've really gravitated towards it a lot more for many of my youth athletes and I've really liked the benefit that we've seen from it. Um, usually we program these, we're usually doing three, four sets, um, maybe five sets, but very rarely with most of our youth athletes. And we're talking about usually eight to ten repetitions in most cases. Um, every now and then we'll get down into the sixes. If we got somebody that's a little bit more on the advanced spectrum, we might let them get after a little bit. But I usually think, you know, the more repetitions, as long as they have a good quality range, um, we're basically just practicing that movement pattern and being able to provide some stimulus for the years to come. So if you have any questions, feel free in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.